I'm not impressed. Not even a little bit. I just not, haven't been having the best of luck with stuff lately. I don't know what's going on. Must be the cycle of the Halloween moon stuff. I don't know. <clears throat> so I, I was, I'm starting my dragon. And this is the Loops and Threads. Um, what is it called? Chanel Home Slim. Every time I buy this stuff, I've never had a problem. Until today. I got this far and then the ball in the ball band started to fall apart. And I was like, what's going on? So I took the ball band off and grabbed the other end and I started rolling it in a ball like I usually do. And I'm rolling. And the next thing I know, the ball is falling apart. I kid you not. So I'm going, <clears throat> all right, we have one little piece. We have, oops, two little pieces. We have three little pieces. We have four little pieces. I can't even hold them. There's, it's just, it's crazy. This came, <clears throat> came out in all of this. I can't believe it. I don't know why. It's like when they were winding it, it kept breaking and they just went, okay, well, we'll just put it all in together. <sighs> this is the first time that I have gone through the checkout and not got a receipt. I don't have the shop anymore. Don't need to save a receipt. So I hit no receipt. This is unacceptable. So it's like, okay, do I take it back and fight with them to get a new ball? Or do I just keep on going? And, oh, excuse me. It's 10 o'clock at night. <clears throat> and then use these for the limbs. I decided I'm going to just do the limbs. Those little pieces will do the legs and stuff like that. This, <clears throat> hopefully, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll finish the body. <clears throat> and I still have a couple balls like this. Like, look at this. I hope that I'm not going to have a problem with the rest of these. I will be losing my crap <clears throat> if that's the case. And then I'm crocheting along and I started watching Vivi and the Strawberry. I love watching her videos because I get so many ideas for packaging and I'm re she really inspires me with the plushies and stuff. So I'll leave her link down below if I, if I remember. If I don't put it down below and you want it, then message me. Um, I started just going along and I forgot to do a row. <laughs> so, oh. so there's like a little bit of an indent on here <laughs> and then I'm going, going, going and then it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then I ended up having to do a decrease up here because I had two stitches too many. <laughs> Oh my God. So I'm sitting here going, yeah, do I just not do this tonight? <laughs> because with this pattern, you need to count your stitches. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm just like, oh my God. So now I'm watching Crochet Vision and yeah, it's like I can't count and watch things at the same time. Oh my God. And I just thought of something. 
I was supposed to be stuffing this as I was going. How am I gonna? How am I gonna stuff this? Oh crap! Yahoo! My boxes came with my uh, shelving things, my cube things. So now I can get the rest of this room done. Thank goodness. Okay, so if you hear George in the background, he's watching football and I apologize. Alright, so I had these up in here and I had the big desk here. So I took all that out. Now I've got... I I got these all going. I'm loving these. Oh my god, I'm gonna leave the link down below because it's on feet. Isn't that cool? Oh, I love that. Um but, but look at this. This is what they gave me to work with. This is like the tiniest hammer in the world. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, no. This is oops. This is my regular hammer. And this tiny little hammer. It's like, okay, no. <laughs> So anyways, I'm going to do four, five, six, seven across, and then they're going to go up. I've got two boxes of these, so I guess we're going to see how far it's going to go up the wall. It's going to be like, woo, all right, big yarn wall. I'm so excited. It's finished. Yay. Oh, what a pain in the neck that was. But it's done. Now I can start putting yarn on it. <laughs> I ran out of these these things. So don't tell anybody, but I had to steal some of these from the other <laughs> from the other one over here. <laughs> so but don't tell anybody, okay? It's just between you and me. So now I can start filling up. Okay, yarn bees, here it is. Ah, okay, so here's my yarn wall, and I've got my radio up there now, so I can listen to music when I'm doing stuff in here. This is all um, odds and ends of yarn. That is projects that I finish, like my amigurumis. This is not odds and ends. That is the yarn that Angela made me 
And that is the yarn that Chris sent me. All of that is um, like teddy bear yarn and specialty yarns. That's a box of stuff I haven't finished. <laughs> I can't find my crochet A sign, you guys. I gotta find it. I've got my octopus up here, ch just chilling out. <laughs> so our deck, it's raining, yuck. Over here, I'm going to have whatever I need up there. I'm going to get a, um, a light, a special light that goes across the desk so that I can do my tutorials here. So there's my label printer, and I've got some other label stuff. This is stuff from the, from the office uh, or from the store that I figure I could probably use. And then here is stuff that I need. Don't look at this. Because this is like a surprise. <laughs> this is stuff I'm going to be working on soon. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be filming here. I'm going to be doing my tutorials here. Um, and then, yeah, so this is this, this is what you guys are going to be looking at. I think I'm going to change this light, though, because the light's horrid. It's giving off a yellow glow. I don't like it. That, I know somebody's going to ask. That was a project that I did when I was doing the, holy cow, why can't I think? I'm so tired, you guys. Um, movie Marquee, holy, that hurt my head. When I, when I was doing the Movie Marquee with Heather the Crochet Witch, that was, what was it, Lost Boys? The movie Lost Boys, I think it was. I could be totally wrong. But anyways, I so I made that. Now that I'm looking at it, geez, I might actually make some of those to, um, to sell. Hmm. That would be interesting. So anyway, yeah, so I need to find my crochet A sign so I can put it up there. I've got other stuff in here that I want to put in here too. Um, but yeah, so this is it. So this is where I'm going to be filming. Good morning, Yarna Bees. How are you today? Got my co-pilot, don't I? Yay, she's so happy that we're actually leaving the house. She hasn't been out of the house probably since, well, since I closed the shop. Um, that's terrible, isn't it? That's really bad. That's like, that's a long time. <clears throat> so, we're going on a trek today. Um, we are going to Victoria, me and Bailey, which is an hour and a half, depending on traffic, it could be two hours away. <clears throat> right? Oh, careful. Um, to go and buy 30 skeins of latte cake. What? Uh, there's a lady <coughs> that was on Facebook, uh, Facebook Marketplace who is selling all of her latte cakes. And I just happened to see it and I contacted her and said, how much do you want for them? She, guys, I had to jump on it. I was like, George, George, can you help me pay for this, please? I'll pay you back. He's like, don't worry about it. What is it? <laughs> how much? Just tell me how much. <clears throat> Latte cakes in Canada go for anywhere between $12 and $14.99 a cake. She's willing to sell it to me for $4 a cake. $4! <laughs> I was like, you're what? <laughs> it's, like, it's like, start the car. <laughs> I am on my way. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so I was absolutely in shock. So I am on my way there. And I'm going to go and get those $4 latte cakes. You bloody rights I am. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah. I am so excited, you guys. I'm so excited. 
and it's a nice sunny day. Oh, and I forgot I'm supposed to be going. I'm gonna go to Starbucks to celebrate and I'm gonna go get myself a pumpkin spice latte. Yes, I am. I might even get Little Miss a puppuccino, but we'll see. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, yeah, so let's go. Hi there. 11.45. Just going to be an option there. <sighs> Would you like a spill guard on your green? Uh, no, thank you. Oh, the excitement. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank go. you. What's this? There we are. Great. Have an amazing Thanks. day. Thanks. You too. Okay, you ready? Come here. Here. Oh, what's that? What's that? <clears throat> oh. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get it all over your face, aren't you? <laughs> Ooh, nice. Oops. I'm getting up. All over me too. <laughs> okay, so I'm just leaving her house. I got the yarn in the back. Thank you so much, Stephanie, if you're watching. I gave her the, the YouTube channel, so hopefully um, she will subscribe. She's a knitter, a crocheter, and a crafter. Oh. Oh, and uh, yeah, so she does the cricket stuff. I might need some advice. <laughs> um, she seems like she's just like me. She does a whole bunch of different things, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, um, oh, I think I went the wrong way. She told me which way to go, and I went the, the wrong way. So now I'm going to go back through the construction. Yay! This is an absolutely beautiful um, area for sure like I'm looking at the ocean right here like it's insanely beautiful um, I would love to live around here it would be uh, it would be very nice except I've heard that it's extremely expensive over here <clears throat> so yeah. So now we're on our way back home. And uh, that was this road, Souk Road. Holy man. This was like, woo, 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 woo. It was worse than the number three highway going up to the Okanagan. But it was also very beautiful. And on a day like this, like beautiful, sunny. Oh, Bailey wants to look outside. <laughs> uh, beautiful and sunny. It's, it's a nice drive. It really is. <clears throat> so... Whole bunch of yarn and it's my favorite 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 yarn latte cakes Yay! Oh, it's a beautiful sight you guys so when I get home I'll show it to you and then I have to find a room for it and I just happen to have some cubicles left from the um, <clears throat> from the uh, <clears throat> wall of wall of cubes <laughs> that I just built so I'm gonna might have to rearrange a few things but uh, yeah, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, bye. Isn't that a pretty sight? Holy cow. Oh, wow. Look at all that. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, so here I am sitting on the floor, <laughs> down with my yarn. Oh. <sighs> Oh, you know, I'm looking at my my cubbies and I'm going, crap, I thought I had like a whole row that didn't have anything in it, <laughs> but I don't. So now I got to try and think of what else to do. Hmm. I'll figure it out <laughs> because these lovelies need to be up. 
Maybe I'll put them up above on the top. So anyways, okay, so what I got was three skeins of the Blackberry. I absolutely love this color. I've used it plenty of times on different projects. I've only got one, I accidentally ripped the ball band. My bad. <clears throat> I've only got one of the uh, rose scented. Now, some of these I think are discontinued, maybe. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I don't, well, I'm not sure. But anyway, oh, this one, I, one, I love this one. Uh, this is the coconut cream. Oh, I can't wait. I think I'm going to make a bunch of cardigan, campfire cardigans, like the hexagon cardies. I think that's what I'm going to do. I got six of the blueberry. Blueberry? Uh, yeah. Oops. Love it. <clears throat> I got one, two, three, four, five, five of the Kissy Kissy. This is one of my favorites. It's turning up kind of brown in the camera, isn't it? Or does it look purple? This one's gorgeous. <laughs> I wish I got more of this. Maybe she, she said she said to keep an eye out for her uh, on Facebook because on Marketplace because she's going to have more, hopefully, <laughs> because if she has any more of this, I'm going to be absolutely thrilled. This is called Sugar Pearls, but I've only got two of these, which is fine because two will still make a nice sweater. Okay. I got two of the Velvet Teal. This one I think is a regular. Whoop, I'm having a yarn to lunch. And then I got, oop. Oh, wait a minute, sorry. Nope, this is, this is the one, two, three, four, five. I got six of the, uh, uh, oh no, this is Earl Grey. Wait a minute. Hang on. That's kissy kissy. Look at this. Do they not look very close? Except this one's got the orange in it. So hang on. That's a kissy kissy. That's a kissy kissy. Yeah. That's a kissy kissy. Kissy kissy kissy. That's a kissy kissy. And that one is not. This. Yeah. Okay. So I got two Earl Grey. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And then I got two of the Pretty Plum. Okay. So that is two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 27 skeins. 27 skeins, is that right? Okay, so 27 skeins. It wasn't quite 30. Um, <clears throat> for $4 a, 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 $4 a cake. That's crazy. So, um, yeah, now i got to find a place for them. <laughs> And I'm going to use them, right? Because the last, no, not that one. The one, I'm, the sweater that I just finished, I'll show that to you guys in a minute. Um, I'm, I used latte and a uh, plain color. And it turns out so nice. So I'm going to do that again with all of these. And they will work up way faster. <clears throat> so, Yeah got a lot of work to do. <laughs> I got some stuff to show you. Hi, Yarnabees. 
Okay, so <laughs> what have I got on my head, you ask? <laughs> I got a whole lot of fur on my head. That's what I got. Um, <laughs> I saw this tutorial and I was like, oh, I want to make one of those. So I did. And if I do this again, I'm totally using a different yarn. I'm using a different size hook because, yeah. So you here. Let me let me show you. I hope it shows up okay. Is it? Is it it's supposed to be like this. <laughs> so yeah, um, it needs to be starched. Um, <laughs> yeah. I hope it showed up all right. <laughs> But yeah, it, it, it needs to be starched or stuffed, one or the other. Um, and yeah, it's, <laughs> uh, what's this, what's this called again? Um, hang on, let me look at my phone. What a concept I actually, oh, what a concept I actually, um, can look on my phone now while I'm talking to you to look things up because I um what am I looking for um it's called the crochet snail shell hat tutorial I'll leave the link down below <clears throat> um yeah I it, I think I'm going to change it a bit the next time I do it because she uses triple crochets on here. I think it's too much. I think I'm going to go down to double crochets and then this gap won't be so big and it won't be so much. Um, because, I mean, I used two different yarns. I used the latte yarn and I used, I used the new latte. I used the new latte cake that I got, the the one that I said looked like Frankie, uh, Frankenstein. Um, I thought, I'm going to try it with this. So I tried that, and then I used this one, which is... Oh, the, Loops and, whoa, the Loops and Threads Classic in the color... Oh. They don't have names. VS151. So, yeah. So I, I used both of those together thinking that if I used them, at, you know, like double stranding, that it would stand up on its own. But it doesn't. Because I think because the, the stitches are too far apart. If I did it in a double crochet, it might shore it up a little bit and then it would stand up on its own because I'm not going to be starching my hat <laughs> you know and then I thought well what if I stuffed it but the stuffing will show through right um <clears throat> so yeah I think the next time I do it I'm gonna just do double crochets but it's so cute I like it um, and I might not do this so long. Well, I'd have to see how much, how much, um, I would get. She said to put, do 14 or 15 rows or ridges. Um, I don't think I'd do that again. I think I'd maybe go to here and then start doing the rib, the rib, rib. Um, and then that way it would be kind of like that. And it, I think it would look a lot better. So... Yeah, so I'm going to try it again and see what happens. But it's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? Where are you? Look at that. I can actually, I can, I can, it focuses all on its own, you guys. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> no more trying to figure this out. Uh, so, okay, so that's the one thing I made. That's the other thing I made. Uh, I just finished this last night. Oh. Uh, this is the mannequin that never made it to the shop. The one that I was going to make um, 
my crow thing for the window. Yeah, it didn't happen. So anyway, so I just finished this last night. <clears throat> it's got a metal stand on it. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So yeah, it's um, the crisscross stitch I, I was showing you before. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's done. So yeah, I finished that and that's going to go in my shop. Um, so that's two items I got finished. Now, <laughs> I started, I, I'm starting to do something that I've been thinking about doing for a while. I'm testing out the parameters right now. Um, and then I'm going to see how it goes. I've got some stuff coming for these. I've already got a bunch of stuff, but <clears throat> I have some other stuff coming. Now, Tracy from I Love Loopy, um, I Love Loopy's Crochet, she makes these beautiful pens um, and stylus pens. And I bought one from her. I thought they were gorgeous. Now, I, I don't want to step on her parade at all, ever. <clears throat> so I'm, I made some pens, but I'm doing them kind of a different theme. Uh, I've got some bumblebees coming. So I did these. Oops, where are you? There we go. And, oh, come on, focus. Here we go, focus. So these have got some bees on them. But I've got other ones that are focal, focal beads that are bumblebees. So I wanted to kind of make those. <clears throat> um, and then I made one with a black, black bead on it. And these beads look like honeycombs, like a honeycomb, I thought. Or like a beehive or whatever, a bee, bee, you know what I mean. So those are the three that I made so far. Okay. Um, now I'm, I'm not going to promote my pens because I, like I say, I don't want to step on, um, Tracy's toes at all. So if you want gorgeous pens and gorgeous stylus pens, go see her, go see her, um, Etsy page. I will link both of those down below as well. I'm just doing these these ones for my yarnabies. These are going to be <clears throat> like for giveaways and stuff like that. Um, these ones I made because my niece Michelle, she graduated recently from college, and she is now a uh, what's it called? A dental reception? No, dental. She's got a more fancy name than that. But anyway, she works in a dental office. So I made these thinking that maybe her girls, her the colleagues at her office might want to buy them. So there's this one. It says Dental Squad. And these are um, fuzzy, pe fuzzy beads. So I made that one. And I made this one that's yellow because he's holding a yellow toothbrush. Come on, focus. Focus, there we go. So I did that one. <clears throat> then this one says, I got fillings for you. <laughs> I thought that was adorable. Oops, come on. And with the white fuzzy. And then this one is another dental squad, but it's different. So, I thought that was really cute. So I made those. <clears throat> now the pens were just, some, <clears throat> excuse me, something I just kind of went, okay, I'll just make a few just to see what they're like. My real focus was going to be making crochet hooks. Okay. 
So I made up a couple, um, and they're they're small. I'm waiting for my Dremel to come so that I can make the holes bigger on these um, silicone beads so I can make bigger sizes. So right now, this one is a four millimeter. Let's see. Isn't she cute? I think she's adorable. Okay, and it's a metal, um, metal hook. So I made her. And then this one is a three millimeter. With the pink, oops. With the pink and the pink hook. And then this one is a special one for someone. And she's going to know exactly who it is the minute I show it. This is a 3.5 millimeter. Come on. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Hoot hoot. <laughs> so that is for someone very special. And then I made something else for her because I'm trying this out. Uh, I have to get some, some new glue because these, for what this is, these beads are a little bit big. So I have to get a different uh, glue that glues on metal. So this is a Ami pick for Amigurumi so that when you're doing your amigurumi, amigurumi and plushies and you want to put like hold your ears in place or your arms in place or whatever so that you can get them um crocheted on or whip stitched on it holds them in place for you so oops here is oh <laughs> here is the ami stick now i did a little little doodah here doodah <laughs> Um, and this is extremely sharp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those rubber backings for earrings. I'm going to put on this so that you don't stick yourself. So yeah, see it, it just moves around. So I've got to shore that up with some glue. So yeah, so that's, so that and, and these are what I'm trying to make. This is trial and error, like I said. Um, just wanting to see how they turn out. I have <coughs> other stuff coming uh, so that I can work on them. I'm also going to be doing, they are, uh, what are they called? show them when I when I get them um, they're gonna be really cool I think so yeah so that's what I've been doing you guys that's what I've been working on oh, well in my room <laughs> I got oh, can you see it all yeah here I finally got room for it all so yeah now what am I I've got to finish my three-foot dragon I'm kind of dragging my heels on that one. I've got the body done. Now I'm just making all the little parts. I made the back legs and the thighs. But. Oh, excuse me. I just wanted to work on something else. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you some patterns that I bought. But I can't do it now because I haven't made any. So I got to work on that too. And then I'll have something to show you in the next video. So, yeah. Oh, ah, God. You know, I gotta say, it's, it really makes me calmer to be able to see my yarn in the viewfinder. <laughs> and to, to be able to have my yarn room back. It's, uh, you know, it makes me very happy. Um... And I'm sure that it's a lot better for you guys to look at too. <laughs> uh, 
so yeah so I'm gonna go and uh, I got things to work on oh, and I have some campfire cardigans I gotta make so but like I say I'm going to um, I'm going to start doing tutorials soon I'm just waiting for my light to come and then I've got to make another I've got to make a shelf thing here I've got you know, set up on a cube right now <laughs> but if I can put a shelf up then I can have my camera on there and have some room here for making my tutorials so a little bit of wiggle niggling and getting it all worked out but I'm really happy with it so far and uh, yeah onward and upwards guys um, I just want to thank the new people too that are still coming in from Jennifer's channel I hope you stay I hope you hit that subscribe oh hey I want to try something I just found out that YouTube is doing this new thing so there's two words that if you say them they will light up with rainbow so I want you to look down at the do you see that button right there I don't know <laughs> I can't say it yet but you know what I always tell you guys to do okay look at the buttons and see if they light up and then comment down below and let me know if they did okay so I want you to go and push the subscribe button and push the like button. Did they light up? <laughs> Every time I say subscribe or like in a video, I can say it three times in a video within, you know, however many minutes apart and they'll light up. And then if you hit those buttons, it does this thing. Um, you know, lights up and does all this stuff, right? So I thought that was so cool. So let me know down below if they actually worked. <laughs> I think that's awesome. YouTube is stepping up their game. So yeah. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go. And I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. And uh, for the new people, I will do a video soon explaining a few things about my channel, like why when I start my channel I say hi Yarnabees <laughs> you're probably going what's a Yarnaby I'll explain it all in a new video okay so I love you all and I will talk to you soon okay Mwah.